Well, hello and welcome to Gleanzip VTV for Monday, the show that puts Gleanzip B up your periscope. I'm bringing New Zealand to the world, the world, to New Zealand. And I don't know if you've been following this. I have for some time now, possibly even years. Uh, the weather girl on Sky News Australia. Now, it's probably not politically correct for me to refer to a trained meteorologist as a weather girl. But, you see, the reason I do is because that seems to be how they treat her. Um, A curious thing happens here in New Zealand. When you watch Sky News... You get Sky News UK overnight, and then uh, at around sort of six o'clock, seven o'clock, it changes over to Sky News Australia. And the weather person presenter goes from looking like a normal person to looking like this. Now, that's right. That uh, she appears to be wearing. I mean, I'm no fashion expert, I'm no television expert, I'm no weather expert. But that, to me, is that just some kind of lacy negligee that she's wearing doing the weather? Am I being old and funny, Daddy, or is that inappropriate? I, don't, I mean, Tony Marsh, when she used to do the weather... She wore some outfits, but nothing. I don't know if I'm complaining about it. I'm just... It's inappropriate. West Indies. You've won the 2020 World Cup. Is that really the best you can do? I'm not... I don't mean winning the tournament. That's great. I'm talking about this. The dance. Now, that's the best I can do. That That is the best dance I can do. But I'm me. You guys are cool West Indians. And I don't think I'm being racist when I say this. I just expected a little bit more. So there you go. I've been sexist and racist so far in the podcast. Um, what we've learned from the uh, student loan situation is uh, now that they've arrested somebody, suddenly they've been swamped with an influx of people paying their student their outstanding student loans back. And this is your classic example of how to treat kids. There's no point in threatening to punish them unless you're actually prepared to follow through. It reminds me of the time I I said, look, if you guys don't stop arguing, uh, you're out of the car. And I stopped the car in the middle of traffic and kicked the kid out of the car, put them on the traffic island and drove away. Now, some people call that dangerous parenting. Some people call it an example to follow. And, you know, maybe it scarred them. But I'll tell you what, they didn't. They took me seriously next time I, they, they said I was going to throw them out of the car, that's for sure. And I just want to finish up with a little bit of poo talk, ZB. If you were listening to the news of the world in 90 seconds, you would have, this morning on the Mike Hosking Breakfast, you would have heard uh, that in Britain they have opened a museum dedicated to Pooh. An an exhibit at the Isle of Wight Zoo features excrement from elks, lions, as well as a human baby. Now, I don't know why, I don't know why this is happening, but what I do hope is that there's an interactive element to this where you get to spot the difference and see if you can identify the difference between poo from an elk, a lion, and a human baby. Because that'd be fun. Anyway, I still feel like we, we started strong and tailed off a little bit once I started talking about poo. I might, maybe I should not do that next time, should the opportunity arise. I am Glenn ZB. Thank you so much for having me at your Periscope. Hopefully, in spite of the weak ending, I will still see you back here again tomorrow.